Hello, I am Mudabir Qureshi. You are watching Mudabir's Biology Club. Today, our topic is atavism. Uh, it's also known as reversion or sometimes it's also known as throwback. So what is atavism? We will discuss about it. Atavism is basically the <coughs> reappearance of some ancestral and not parental character in some organism. So, in nutshell, we say that atavism is the reversion or it is the reappearance, reappearance of some ancestral trait in an organism. which is not usually present in <coughs> these organisms. So, we say that atavism or reversion or throwback, is, it is the repair, reappearance of some of the ancestral characters which these organisms have lost, which these organisms do not possess at uh, present, but their ancestors might, be, might have been uh, possessing these characters in the past. If they reappear, so we say that they are not parental characters, they are some ancestral characters which are not presently found in the uh, species but if somehow some of these traits reappears we call it as the reversion or we call it as the throwback or we call it as the uh, what we call as uh, this uh, atavism so in nutshell atavism is the reappearance of some ancestral and not parental character which the ancestors might have been possessing in ancient past but is not presently found in the rest of the population so it is known as the atavism for example i will tell you about the human babies human babies the humans do not possess a tail they do not possess a tail but some human babies have been found to be born with a tail so this is not a parental character in case of the humans as presently we see that there is no tail in case of the humans so it is not any parental character it's an ancestral character it is believed by many evolutionists that the ancestors of the humans before 60 to 70 thousand million years they might have been possessing some tail which they lost but this is not present in the these uh, what we call as the present generation of the homo sapiens but uh, it has reappeared many a times in some of the human babies I means some of the human babies have be have got formed with have got uh, what we call as uh, born with a tail and uh, this is known as the atavism so over here uh, this human baby has uh, uh, what we call as repeated the characters of its ancestors and this is known as what we call as the uh, this uh, it's known as the reversion or the throwback or the atavism human babies born with a tail born Another example is uh, that some human babies are born with additional mammae on their uh, this chest. We usually have the, the two mammary glands upon the chest. Some human babies are born with additional mammae. So uh, this uh, presence of additional mammae, additional mammary glands, or you can call as mammae, the presence of additional mammae on the human chest. Uh, in some human babies it's also the reversion of some of the ancestral characters and not parental characters this is also what we call as throwback or reversion or you can also call it as atavism another example is that of the uh, irish dog man this example you will see we call it as irish dog man irish dog man in in Russia, a human baby was born with profuse development of the hairs or the whole of the body of uh, that very baby was covered with the hairs. But you will see, at present you will see humans, they are covered with scanty body hair. There is scanty soft body hair present upon the human body. But some human babies like the Irish dog man, uh, it was born with profuse <coughs> development of the body hairs. The whole body was covered with the hairs just like that of the apes. So it is uh, believed that the ancestors of the humans used to possess the body hairs throughout their body 
and uh, it's not a parental character it's an ancestral character and if it is repeated like it was repeated in the Irish document then definitely it is atavism or it is reversion or throwback so Irish document uh, uh, which was born uh, uh, as a baby in the Russia uh, it's another example of the atavism now one very important uh, example regarding the atavism we will quote over here is the cervical fistula cervical fistula in case of humans cervical fistula in humans we see that in aquatic animals like the fishes there are pharyngeal pouches which open to the exterior there are five pharyngeal gill slits, which you also call as they open to the outside. But we will see that in human baby, uh, human babies, once they are inside the womb of mother during the process of the development, they do have the uh, these uh, pharyngeal gill pouches, but they get black or they get closed, <coughs> and only one pharyngeal pouch remains there, which forms the uh, eustachian tube of the ear, the eustachian tube or the external ear canal, which we call that is formed by the first uh, pair of their pharyngeal pouches which perforate and they form the eustachian tube rest of the these uh, pharyngeal pouches they do diminish but in some human babies what we see is like this uh, in some human babies we see that the human babies were born uh, with uh, with some what we call as with some openings with some openings uh, and uh, these openings were present in the throat these are the openings uh, present in the throat these openings are called as cervical fistula they are called as cervical fistula if we see what basically the cervical fistula is basically the some of the uh, what we call as the pharyngeal uh, pouches they have still remained there and they have perforated uh, to the exterior and they have made their way to the exterior and uh, this is marked by the presence of the holes or the presence of openings on the throat of the baby and these are known as the cervical fistula so we say that there is no room for pharyngeal gill pouches or pharyngeal gill slitters in case of the humans as we do not or aquatic animals but in aquatic animals you will see like that of the fishes there is development of five pharyngeal pouches which form the pharyngeal gill slits which open to the exterior but in case of the humans during the early embryonic development there is basically development of the pharyngeal gill slits but later on they diminish they get uh, blackered and only one pharyngeal uh, gill pouch uh, pharyngeal gill slit remains there and that pharyngeal gill slit forms the eustachian tube of the ear but in some human babies other pharyngeal pouches also remain there and they perforate to the exterior and their exterior presence is marked by the presence of the holes on the uh, throat of the baby and these holes on the throat of the baby are known as the cervical fistula so basically the cervical fistula directly poses questions upon the presence of the pharyngeal gill pouches in case of the human babies which is not the parental character in case of the humans but rather it is an ancestral character so it is basically again the reappearance of some of the ancestral characters in the humans and this type of the reappearance of the ancestral characters not parental characters is known as the atavism so i believe that uh, you have got what is atavism it is the reversion or the throwback or it is the reappearance of some of the ancestral characters like uh, the presence of the tail in some human babies or presence of cervical fistula or the additional mammy or the profuse development of the hairs on the body and face of irish dogmen hope that you have understood very well what is atavism